All right, guys, welcome back. I tell you guys all the time we got kind of a different one for you today. This one's kind of an FYI for your information or to protect you. Um, we see stuff so often with dealerships, talking about car dealerships, Ford, Chevy, Dodge, Nissan, Toyota. Now, dealerships are in business to make money, um, and we use the dealer, but we feel like we got the upper hand because they know we're not dumb to the fact of what stuff costs. But we do see women all the time come in with like laundry list. I got to trade my car in. Shop just told me it needed $10,000 worth of work. Like you just drove it here. How does it need $10,000 worth of work? Oh, it needs a muffler bearing and a blah, 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 or whatever. You know, they always got all these big crazy words and it goes over their heads. Not just that, elderly people, um, younger people. Um, and again, everybody's in business to make money, but you can make money the right way and still be okay. So lo and behold, um, we got to eat a little crow on this one. And I'm going to show you an invoice. I told you we had a, uh, just recently we had a slingshot, uh, one of two slingshots that came in. And we said, okay, we're sending it to the dealer for service and inspection and check the recalls. And of course, I'm not a Polaris dealer. I can't do recalls. I can change the oil. I can send it down to the shop and get an inspection done. But we like going to the dealer. They use factory parts. You know, I know I'm going to spend, what, 20 bucks on an inspection. The thing was a 2023 with 4,000 miles. What am I going to spend? You know, like I said, 20 bucks on an inspection. Might need a light bulb. Um, and then oil change. I know I'm going to spend more. I know I could spend 30 or 40 bucks and do it ourselves. I expect to spend about 100 bucks at the dealer. Same with a car. You know, you got synthetic fluids and other things. So let's say it's going to be 120 bucks. So I send my guys. I'll say, go drop it off. Three or four days later, they call say it's ready. Well, here's our invoice. $748.37. So um, I can't really be mad at my employees because they didn't know what it was supposed to cost. They swiped a credit card, they come back. The only reason I caught this, I was doing some editing and aud auditing, I should say. Um, and we probably get 60, 70, 80 service invoices a month through. So I catch a few, do a little audit, check the shops, make sure their prices are right, make sure they're doing okay. But the only reason this one got caught, it wasn't a big number, was because on the charge amount, which I still have to figure out why, and I'm sure it's because somewhere it says they've got a credit card charge fee, which you would think would be in here, it's actually 760 some dollars on my credit card statement. I'm not gonna say where this place was or, or anything such as that, but, Lo and behold, I'm like, where do we spend on a Polaris 700 and some dollars? We should have spent 120 bucks. So here we go. I was pretty spot on with the oil change, $101. Of course, they charge us for an oil filter, a washer. That's fine. But right here, they charge us for a main pulley seal. I didn't authorize a main pulley to be replaced or a seal. Um, so all this gets the better of me. I say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and call this place and see what's going on. They say, yes, sir, y'all signed off on a 5,000 mile service. Uh, here we go. What does that entail? Oh, it's on your list. So I look at the list and I get even more mad. They checked our battery condition. Well, it didn't have a battery light, so we know the battery's fine. It's also a fairly new unit with 4,229 miles. They changed the oil and filter, which is what I asked to have done. Crankcase ventilation tube inspected. Fuel system air filter inspected. Cooling system inspected, brake system inspected, drive system inspected, uh, belt needed some adjustment. So I guess they did something there. EVAP system inspected, didn't have a check engine light, so we know that's good. Exhaust system inspected, it wasn't making any noise. Now here's the thing, they checked the brakes, they checked the tires, they checked the suspension. All that would have been checked on a proper state inspection. Guess what? You don't see that on here. They couldn't do an inspection. They didn't have an inspector. So I still have to go pick it up. I still have to take it to another shop and I still have to spend 20 bucks to have it inspected. It passed with flying colors as we expected. So right here it says front harmonic balancer pulley seal leaking oil. So I called this place and I said, look, I'm not trying to cause a fuss. I said, I send you guys these all the time. I had a new guy drop it off. Why'd I spend $700? Puts me on hold for five minutes, comes back and says, you paid for a 5,000 mile service. I said, I didn't ask for a 5,000 mile service. Well, that's what you signed off on, which, no, we didn't. But when my guy picked it up, he paid the bill. He did sign a copy for them. So I can't argue with that, but so much. We paid it. We did it.
again, lesson learned, cost to learn. But I said, we always just get an oil change and inspection. Well, you got a few other things. I was like, nah, I really didn't. I didn't get an inspection. Y'all checked a couple other little piddly things for 600 extra dollars. And then he says, well, it looks like we replaced the harmonic balancer pulley seal. He said, but we didn't charge you for that, but we did charge you for the seal. And I was like, well, I didn't get authorized about that. He said, hold on again. Five minutes goes by, 10 minutes goes by, he comes back. We actually did not do that. So we owe you the $39 back. So not only did they charge me for something that if I hadn't a call, they would have never told me. They never told me about this. It was not leaking. It sat in our showroom. It did not have a drip under it whatsoever after driving it. 15 miles, not to mention my guys take it 25 minutes down the road, 15 miles away from here or better, uh, to drop it off. Then they got to pick it back up. Then I got to take it to have it inspected. So again, a little learning curve, guys. Watch your invoices. Take the time. Pay attention. We go at too fast of a pace. I'm not going to call this place out. That's why I covered their name up. It, you know, it's a local Polaris deal to us. Y'all can fill in the blanks. But what should have been $120, $130, Cost me 760 some dollars. I still don't know why I got charged too much. I still haven't gotten my $39 back. Um, not sure what our shop supplies were, but hey, that's whatever. Shipping charge, I don't know what they shipped, um, unless they had to ship in oil. Uh, they didn't ship anything else, and they sure didn't ship the vehicle. We did everything. Then we got tax and blah, 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 blah. So anyway, be careful. Watch your invoices, pay attention. I don't care where you're dealing, big, small, private franchise just watch your invoices pay attention um you know there's really good people out there in the service industry uh but there's also really ones that want to quadruple what we should have spent and uh, hey we paid it lesson learned but we'll know next time one probably won't go back that's unfortunate because we've been dealing there for 30 years um actually over 30 years um and two uh you know now we got 600 and some extra dollars tied up in a vehicle that we shouldn't have. So anyway, that's it guys. I am gonna call and we'll get the $20 credited back and we'll get the $39 credited back and we'll find out why the other thing was. And hey, maybe they'll have a change of heart, but for now, that's where we stand. That's your learning tip for today, guys.